What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get an artistic or creative black and white skin color or skin tone in Photoshop. Now this is a really simple and easy process. As I always told you guys, I have two approaches to skin toning in Photoshop. The first one is the realistic approach which is you color correcting and then grading the skin to look realistic like the way the person looks like in real life and the second one is the artistic or creative skin toning which is where you take the normal skin tone and then grade it to look completely different maybe to fit into an idea that you have in mind so for the first one i already made a video on it on how to get an amazing realistic skin tone in photoshop i'll drop a link to it in the description as for the second one you're about to learn about it without further ado let's begin this process is really really easy and there are a lot of tools you could use to get this but the one i'm going to show you guys is the easiest and simplest way of getting it so the first thing you have to do is to make selection of your skin i already did that you can use, do it using the quick selection lasso tool paint tool any tool that you use for your selection i don't want to waste you guys time in making the selection all over again so i'll just load the selection that i made already so the first one we are going to do is to get a white artistic looking skin color so to do that we'll use the black and white color adjustment tool in photoshop so i'll just click on it now since i made a mask around the skin it has loaded up here so this adjustment layer has been maxed so um anything that i do here will affect only the part that i selected which was only the face and not the paint here so this one is really simple since the human skin tones fall within two color range the reds and the yellows all you have to just do is to tweak the red and the yellow to get the desired result so i'll just enable it and under the reds i'll take it up and under the yellows same thing now what you should be mindful of is that you don't want to get rid of the contours on the human face you know we have the highlights we have the mid tones and the shadows that's what defines the human face so if you take it to the extreme you notice that you lose most of those details so you don't want to take it too far let's just say something around here is okay and as you can see you have that white skin tone there already you see really easy really really easy can you reduce it the another thing i notice is that the blues affect the shadows because of the color from the backdrop touching the skin so depending on the image you're working on this could make it more contrasty or less contrasty so let's just say that's the look we are going for you see really easy we have a, a white skin tone now i also used it on this other image here this is it let me show you this is the image before and using the same technique i make i made a selection of the skin and just tweak the reds and yellow slider and we got this result see how nice it looks against the white backdrop that is what i'm talking about the artistic look we are going for so you can see looks really nice you can tweak it using the hue and saturation layer and any other layer that you want so that is the first one for the second one we are still going to use the same tool so i'll make my selection again let me rename this layer to white now i'll disable that layer go back here and select a black and white layer again now let me rename it to black then i'll change the blend mode to multiply and as you can see it has darkened the skin of the person so um you can still tweak the sliders again you can bring it down or you can take it up depending on the look you are going for so I think I'll go for this other one. This one I'm going to tweak it a little bit more with hue and saturation. So I'll just select the skin again. Create hue and saturation slider. To select the skin, if you made a selection already, just press the control or command key on your keyboard and then select the mask that you made earlier on. So for the hue and saturation, I'll come to the red and then bring down the, okay let me bring down the lightness as you can see that's really really good looking like i really love that look so um another thing i'm going to do is to just tweak the red a little bit more 
I'll create another hue and saturation layer. And then under the reds, I'll just Yeah, damn, that looks really good. Like that's really really good. So I can put all these in a group and call it black. So if I turn it off, you see, this is before, this is after, this is bef this is before, and this is after. This is the white skin tone, and this is the black skin tone. You see how good looking that black skin tone is. I really love it. Now this is an artistic skin tone because this is not what this person looks like in real life. So you are trying to get the skin tone that fits into an idea that you had in mind so that was a really simple one i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did click the thumbs up button if you are new to the channel click on the subscribe button and ring the bell icon next to it so you don't miss out on other awesome videos in future if you have any question drop it down in the comment section and see you guys in the next one